Hey guys, Locks and Load here. Uh, today, I'm just gonna go quickly over my medical kits and what I have in them. This is my battle belt, and this is my IFAC on my battle belt. This is my vest, and this is the IFAC on my vest. So, we're gonna go through the battle belt. I am a big fan of Ripway medical pouches. You can just rip away and take the whole pack with you. We're gonna go. And see how everything is in here nice and sort of organized, except for that, they just fell out, but. <laughs> but for the most part, you get what I'm saying. You see how this stuff ain't, ain't falling out. All right. Locked and load, what do you got in here? All right, let's go through. First, we got an MPA with a little bit of lube. That way if like, your breathing is obstructed, you go through the nasal cavity down and helps them breathe. I'm not gonna get too technical, I'm not a medic. So, MPA, I think you have one in your bag. This is things wanna come flying out. You got a gauze pad. Got some quick clot to help stop the bleeding. Got some uh, medical tape. Got a triangle bandage. I think everyone should have at least one of these in your medical pouch. Along with your MPA. Next, I got some uh, more wrap. Just like, not necessarily like tape, but like if I had put a dressing on and I wanted to give it like more security, I'd put this on there, like elastic tape just to wrap around. Got me some black gloves. Uh, I'm gonna switch these black gloves out for something either light blue, orange, or any other color. I love black, everyone knows I love black. But for medical purposes, black gloves do not show blood on your hands like you can tell that they're wet but they don't show whether it's blood or sweat or water these these are just what i had so i'd rather have some kind of sterile gloves in here than nothing but i will be replacing these gloves out next we got some uh compressed gauze Fourteen gauge decompression needle. Again, this is something I personally need to receive training on, but I know it's supposed to uh, relieve pressure. And like, if you got like part of your body that's built up pressure, and you need to relieve that pressure, that these fourteen gauge de decompression needles are for that. But again, like I said, I'm not a medical expert. That is something I myself need to receive a little more, more training on. These two, I have two pin lights. Just to help see, you know, if I'm treating a patient, if it's at nighttime, you know, I need to see what's going on. All right, moving down. Got an emergency dressing bandage. If I got a wound or a cut and I need to cover that wound and wrap it, is what this is for. Chest seals, gunshot wound to the chest, got, uh, can't breathe, having trouble breathing, you know, you, you see the pinkness and all that, blood spurting out bubbles, put this on, and it seals that, uh, that wound up so the patient can breathe. Uh, are these, yes, these are the vented chest seals. Some are, some are vented so that blood can flow off to the side, some are not. Just make sure you have some kind of chest seal. Uh, another ab pad. And down to this part. Again, just triangle bandage, more gauze, and some kind of tourniquet. I got a SWAT T tourniquet in here. I prefer cat T tourniquets, those are my favorite. It's just, I'd rather have some kind of tourniquet. This is like a backup tourniquet, just in case my cat T tourniquet, like, isn't enough. 
or I need more than one tourniquet for whatever reason. So that is my IFAC on my battle belt. Now we're gonna move to my vest. All right, so here is the IFAC on the back of my plate carrier, which what I keep in my car sometimes as, you know, like a concerned citizen. <laughs> so again, hit the buckle, rip away, Ugh, get off me. This one is not as thick as my battle belt. This one's supposed to be a little bit more uh, lightweight, even though they're about the same size pouch. The medical pouch for my vest. Again, same setup. Everything's in there, it's not falling out. All right, from the top, we got some medical shears, just in case I gotta cut away clothing to get to the patient. Two things of compressed gauze. MPA with lube. Got uh, my pin light so I can help see uh, my patient, look at their pupils, all that. 14 gauge decompression needle. We went over that. Uh, again, emergency dressing bandage. We went over that. These are the Halo chest seals. Uh, they do the same thing as the iPhones. Uh, just a different company. This one's bigger. Uh, I can fold it up. And I think this comes with two. Yes, contains two. So you got one for the front and one for the back, just in case you get through and through. Uh, right here, cat tea tourniquet. I love cat tea tourniquets. Uh, well, I love them because that's what the Navy trained me on. I don't know anything else. <laughs> well, I know SWAT tees, but cat tees are what I've used for like the four years I was in the Navy. So I know, I know those. Uh, bottom, triangle bandage, and more wrap. And that's honestly all I keep in my IFAT, guys. I didn't buy these online. Uh, I went to the Army Navy surplus store, and I handpicked each one of these items. Uh, that's the way I like to build my medical kits, because I buy one online. A lot of the stuff in there I'll take out, because I feel like I don't need, or is unnecessary. Uh, but guys, that's my kit. That's how I wear it. This is what I have in it. If you guys like what I have, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification. So when I drop a video, you know, and locks and locks.